Okay, this is from my buddy Grasshopper. Grasshopper, this is what I come up with for the trailer. Um, that was actually a pitman arm that center part uh, off the old errands that I cut out of it. These are the two axle halves. I got it uh, tacked underneath. You can't see the weld. But I also cut down that hole all the way down flush and just laid it on that bar. And uh, then I uh, welded my washers on the end of the axle. Tried to drill through the daggum axle. Which one is it? And a damn drill bit broke off in there. So, I'm gonna get me some locking collars or make some. I got that piece of pipe that'll slide over this. I'll weld a nut to it and make me a locking collar. I ain't going that fast with this thing or I'll buy some locking collars. But I'm gonna get my neighbor with his stick welder to weld those good for me and beef those up a little right there. And they're probably strong enough, but I don't want to make sure. But anyway, she works good. And uh, I haven't looked to see how it sits with the lawnmower. It ain't going to have as much ground clearance going off road, but hey, if it hits something, it'll just drag over it. I don't plan on using it off-road much. I use it more in the yard. Anyway. And those are the original tires off uh, Rat Mower 1. Rat Mower 2 is my new project. And that's the name of my mowers. Rat 1, 2, 3, however many I get. <laughs> Rat mower one, two, three, four, five. I doubt that, but you know, you get the idea. Anyway, yeah, this goes out to my buddy Slim up there around Blythewood, South Carolina. He's one of my, he's my first riding buddy that I've gone riding with, and hope to get some others around this area, around the Columbia. Preferably Gaston, South Carolina area. Any of you uh, seeing this video or any of my other videos on YouTube, uh, yeah, give me a shout in the comments. Later, y'all. But, yeah, this thing been bugging me. I had different wheels on it and the axles needed to be wider. Uh... Because the original wheels on this thing just didn't work right. Anyway, I had different hubs and rims. And they worked alright with those uh, off-road those knobbies. But those knobbies had to go on my new build. So I had to redo my trailer to put wheels on it. But that's going to be the finished project. Because they want about $25 for an axle. I used what I had.